Hello everyone! If the road to hell is paved with good intentions, what can be said about the road to heaven? In the case of Medianic Cell, we pave it with the blood of Ethereals. Let's go! It is time to open up the last endgame hub, which is the Silver City in Act 4. Reaching it requires us to return to the Pandemonium Fortress and make our way to the Plains of Despair in order to find and kill the demon Izual. After killing Izual, a portal to the Diamond Gates of the High Heavens will open. The Diamond Gates is a short introduction to the areas beyond. A short walk will bring us to the Silver City, and entering the High Heavens requires at least level 115. This new hub comes with a waypoint and a complete crew from the Pandemonium Fortress, just spread out a little more. From here we can access our next destination directly to the north. It is the Library of Fate. The drop sources in the High Heavens have a bias for rare items, for what that's worth. The dangers we will encounter in here come in two types. First, the Ethereals are melee enemies that spawn in hordes. Killing one has a chance of weakening all the other enemies in a radius around them and inspiring them with a zeal that increases their attack speed. This usually means that surviving enough to kill a few Ethereals makes killing the horde much easier. The second danger comes in the form of untargetable towers that spawn in the high heavens. They will shoot punishers towards the general direction of their adversaries. These punishers, if they hit, will drain a victim's health down to one very quickly. They won't kill in one hit, but a second hit from anything else is guaranteed death. Poison resistance will not help much, but poison length duration can mitigate this effect a lot. Try to avoid them as much as possible. We raid the Library of Fate in search of a charm called Zakarum's Ear. This is a simple charm with a bonus to all attributes and a hefty experience gain bonus as well. The sooner one gets this charm, the more experience gain on the long run. It might take a few clears of the library to get one with decent rolls though. Getting this charm will require us to find and dispatch Zakarum's avatars, which are stationary floating angels found throughout the library. Each has a 1 in 6 chance of dropping an ear, so you'll roughly expect one charm per clear. The avatars don't have any abilities aside from bestowing some passive buff on the ethereals around them, probably increasing damage or resistances hard to tell. It could be just a visual effect, so nearby ethereals are easier to spot. Zakarum's avatars are immune to damage, but the debuff the ethereals grant on death will remove their immunity temporarily. So tactics are simple, kill ethereals next to the avatars until their immunity is removed, then concentrate all single target damage on the angels. You will need to repeat this several times as the avatars have a large amount of health. This means that it will be necessary to wrangle stray ethereals from around the level and bring them back to the angels to remove the immunity shield by killing them. Once a Zakarum's avatar is destroyed, it will release a massive meteor shower which is best to be avoided. Happy ear farming and see you in the next one.